Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Floss, back again with another video. And today we're gonna take a look at some new budget Bluetooth speakers. Now I got about five different sets of speakers I wanna show y'all. You can buy all of these from amazon.com. I'll throw the links up in the description and they're all gonna cost you under 70 bucks. All right, so let's get right into this. First, we got the Core B-Box. Now real quick, let me show you the website information. These is gonna run you $35.99. All right, so you're looking at 36 bucks. Let's check these out. Now go to the website, read all that information for yourself. Since I got five different speakers, I'm not gonna waste time going through all of the features. We'll just see what they got on the box. All right, so you got audio and phone functionality, durable IPX6 water resistant, compatible with all Bluetooth devices, wireless connectivity, and rechargeable battery. Let's see, uh, blah, 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 Bluetooth 3.0, all right, eight hours of music time. Takes you about three to four hours to charge it up. Standby time, 10 days. And a 1,000 milliamp battery. All right, so 35 bucks for this. Let's check this out. Let me grab a little knife. What we got on deck today? Got the Batman joint. Rah. Rah. All right. Let's see what you get inside. Okay, usual books and shit. Little carabiner clip. Now this is water resistant. Okay, this has a nice feel to it. <laughs> Feels good in the hand. You know I had to say that. Let's see what else you get. All right, you get a set of 3.5 millimeter auxiliary cables. All right, for non-Bluetooth devices. And here's your micro USB charging cable. Pretty much it. Okay, now this might be a new speaker right here for the bike. All right, because I'm definitely feeling the look and the design of this. Let's see, does this waterproof? All right, this is waterproof, but you do have this rubber housing on it that gives it that, that solid feel. Let's see, here's your power button. Okay, play and pause, and it has a little phone symbol, so you can use this as a speakerphone, and you got volume up and down. Okay, speaker grills on both sides. This is cool. Matter of fact, let's drop this little carabiner on here. Here we go. All right, so let's pair this up. We'll do a quick sound test, and we'll uh, see what it sounds like. Now, I'm going to try to go through this video as quick as I can with the usual no editing allowed. So let's uh, keep it moving. All right, so let's take it to Bluetooth. Now, I try to delete some of my other Bluetooth paired devices because I had too much stuff on here. But let's see what we got. Let's see. Here we go. Core B-Box. Real-time pairing, yeah. <laughs> there we go. Okay. <laughs> a little movement right there. All right, now let me take it to the SoundCloud real quick. Do a little sound test. Now, on a side note, I get the same question all the time. Why do I always play the same music? And you have to remember that when you upload in videos to YouTube, you got to play music that's non-copywritten. Otherwise, people in other countries and other regions won't be able to hear the video. So that's why I use non-copyright songs and if I'm gonna use one, might as well use my nephew's group. All right, so let's try this out real quick. Let's get some value. Okay, not bad, not bad at all. 35 bucks, all right, that's max value. Not bad at all. Oh, this is cool. Oh, back to this rap Nice little bass on this. It's a warm up. Yo, I'm surprised at this one, I'm surprised. Check it, check it, yo. I spit shit that makes you listen. I came through with the coalition. Now, if you look closely, and the you can even see the speaker shaking in the inside. If you know them niggas, then you know it's with them. If you know them niggas, then you know it's so. If you read the book, you would know it's closed. No room for niggas. Just oh, goons for right. niggas. Right. Got a couple brooms for niggas. I'ma sweep them out before the summer done. This is it. This is a one. It sounds better from the front. Yeah, my son is one. I really mean it, nigga. I really seen it. Yeah. These okay. niggas broke, pay them no attention. These niggas tell him for a lower sentence. Woo! Okay. Honestly, I'm surprised at this one. Now, 35 bucks. This might be the steal of the video, but we'll see. I'm definitely feeling this rubber housing around this. This looks like something that would fit perfectly on my bike. Because I got a uh, matte black bike. 
I try to say that fast. Matt Black, Matt Black bike. Throw this little carabiner clip on here and rock out. And it actually sounds pretty good. Nice amount of bass on this. Crystal clear. 35 bucks. Okay. Definitely feeling this one. All right, so let's go ahead and turn this one off and we'll keep it moving. All right, so that's the core B box, 35 bucks. Hmm, that might be the steal of the video. Let's see. All right, what we got next? Let's keep it moving. All right, so next we got the Trend Woo. All right, this is the Trend Woo music tube. All right, Trend Woo, Trend Woo music tube. Real quick, I know I got the giggles tonight. Real quick, $39.99. All right, so you're looking at 40 bucks. Comes in a bunch of different colors. Looks like they got orange, black, lime green, and blue. Okay. So $5 more on this one. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Any specs? Okay, not too much. Oh, here we go. All right, so this one is waterproof, IPX4. Bluetooth connections, all right, 3.5 millimeter connection. Uh, wirelessly, microphone, you can use this as a uh, speakerphone. 4,000 milliamp battery, I right, so a lot bigger. Bicycle speaker, okay. And bass, all right, bass port for superior sound. Let's see, why not? Now this one does have a, a nice little presentation though, for 40 bucks. Okay. Here's the music tube. This one actually kind of looks like a small UE Mega Boom. Let's see what else. This actually is a, a, a pretty nice looking presentation though. Let's see. Um, here we go. Oh, they're, they're fancy, fancy. I like that. Shout out to Tremble. Straight fanciness. Now you get your usual books and shit. We'll file all that to the side. Let's see. Okay. Troll, troll status right there. And you get a 3.5 millimeter cable and a uh, micro USB charging cable. Now this is the flat cable, tangle free. So I'm definitely feeling that. 40 bucks. This one actually looks good though. It looks good. Let's see, you got X base. There's your power button. That is water resistant, so you got some flaps that'll cover up your micro USB charging slot. Here's your auxiliary, 3.5 status. That looks like a little LED right there. Okay, let's see, play and pause with the call button, volume up and down, three LEDs. All right, so let's hit the power button. There we go. Okay, no voice prompt. Okay, here we go. All right, so now it's flashing. Looks like it's in para mode. Let's grab the note. And we'll pair this up real quick. Okay, okay, here we go. Let's scan for Bluetooth devices. Any day now. Looks like it's flashing. Oh boy. Talk amongst yourselves, y'all. Let's uh, let's figure this out real quick. Let's see, do we have any no Bluetooth buttons on this? Oh, on the bottom you do have these uh grips that'll keep it in place. Let's see if we could try to manually put this in pairing mode. Alright, we'll do we'll do the old school way. We'll turn it off, turn it back on, and just hold the power button. That's usually how you manually pair these things, but we'll see. Okay, here we go. Let's scan now. There it goes. All right, the music tube. Okay, TR music tube. I like this awkward silence right here. <sighs> But this, you know, stuff like this, you got to do in real time because when you get yours at home and it's taking long to pair, there we go. All right, it's taking long to pair and you wonder if you got a defective unit. Mine took long too. All right, less than a minute, but still not the super fast pairing that I like. Anyway, let's keep it moving. Let's take it back to the music and we'll see how this sounds. Here we go. Let's get some volume on this. I like these LEDs right here. Nice, a nice amount of bass to this, okay? Oh, oh. Back to this rap shit. Oh, that's 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 me. This a warm up. I switch. I switch. I switch. I switch. Check it. Check it. Yo. Yo. I 
spit shit that makes you listen. I came through with the coalition and my co defendants and the coldest niggas known the niggas. If you know them niggas, then you know it's with them. If you know them niggas, definitely then you know a, it's so. Definitely sold. a nice rumble to this. If you read the book, you would know it's closed. More 360 sound, though. No room for niggas. Just goons for niggas. Got a couple brooms for niggas. I'ma sweep them up before That's the summer's done. This is it. This a one on one. I'ma be. Filthy rich before okay. my son is one. I really mean it, nigga. I really seen it. Yeah. These niggas broke, pay them no attention. These niggas tell him for a lower sentence. A legal okay. weapon, yeah, I know it's reckless. But the beef is never ending. Streets unforgiving. South, so unforgiving. Southside. South South Woo, okay. Now this one, it does have more of a 360 sound. With the core, when you turn it the other way, opposite the speakers, you lose a little sound quality. So this one, you really want to have it like this. This one has more of a, a 360 degree sound to it. All right, but... uh. 40 bucks for this. Technology is definitely coming a long way. Y'all remember a $40 Bluetooth speaker used to sound like trash. These speakers actually sound pretty good. A nice amount of bass. Yeah, I know I love the bass. That's one of the first things that I look for when I get a speaker. Nice little uh, nice little bass shake on this. All right, so that's the Trim Woo. <laughs> that's the Trim Woo music tube. Let's keep it moving. What we got next? Now this one right here, this is a nice little desktop joint. We got the AC Tech. This is the AT, uh, AC Tech Sound Dock 100. All right, the Sound Dock 100. Now, this one's going to run you $49.99. All right, so 50 bucks on this. You got black, gold, white, and some white with different accents. You got a white with purple, white with uh, baby blue, and a white with green. All right, so this one's going to run you $50. Let's see what it is now. Now, this one does have the built-in dock, all right, hence the name Sound Dock. Let's check the features on this. Uh, Two-in-one Bluetooth speaker and phone stand. Unique patented design. Touch-sensitive controls. Okay, that sounds good. Rich 360 clear crystal sound. <laughs> clear crystal. Crystal clear sound. Two broad frequency response speakers. Let's see. Uh, 10 hours playtime. Bluetooth. Memory pairing. I like that. Two-way uh, USB port. Okay, cool. Cool. Sounds good. Everything sounds good. <laughs> All right, so let's see, how do we open this? Let me grab a Batman again, here we go. One more, okay. Sound Dock 100. Like I said, man, I, I love the tech game, man. Everybody's stepping up. Look at look at the little presentation. Y'all remember, man, maybe I'm just getting old, but you remember when you used to buy stuff for less than 100 bucks? You would know it. <laughs> Nowadays, though, everybody's stepping up. All right, so here's your auxiliary cable added to the collection. Usual books and shit, file them to the side. And your micro USB charging cable, add that to the collection too. Okay, now this does have the touch sensitive controls. You see, I just powered it on. Just rubbed my thumb across it and just powered on. Let's uh, just get this out of here real quick. All right, so a little bit smaller with the speakers, but it's supposed to have rich 360 sound. Oh, look at this, what's this? <laughs> Look at this little, uh, now, now, let's see, this might be kind of sick right here. You might be able to drop, let's see, you can drop some cables in here and then flip that up. All right, okay, check this out, fellas. Little stash spot, you know what I'm saying? Throw some stuff in here for the stash. All right, that's kind of cool. Drop that in there just like that. Let's power this up. So far, it only looks like the power button, volume up and down. On the back, here's your micro USB charging slot and your 3.5 millimeter auxiliary slot. On the bottom, looks like a little, uh, Radiator, let's see. It could be, might might be, might not. Let's all pair this up real quick, though. Let's see what we got here. Okay, so we'll scan for, the, let's, matter of fact, okay, it, is, it looks like it's on. Oh, there it goes. Okay. So you got to touch it and hold it. <laughs> all right, AC Tech popped up. This had, yo, I'm feeling this little spot right here. Though. <laughs> I like that. I like that. Ah, the simple things make me happy. I right, paired up just like that. Let's go right back to the music real quick. Now, with the little stand on this, we'd be able to use this as a monitor. So we'll see how this works. So drop your phone right on there just like that. Yo, Hallie, my phone let's, get some, let's get Max. So, so. Okay. 50 bucks. Uh, uh, 
rhymes to this rap shit. This does look it, 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 this looks cool though. This looks cool though. Check it, check it, yo. I spit shit that makes them listen. I came through with the coalition and my co defendants and the co defendants. And this is max value. If you That's know it. them niggas, then you know it's with them. That's it. If you know them niggas, then you know it's so. If you read the book, you would know it's closed. <laughs> no room for niggas. Just goons for niggas. Got a couple brooms for niggas. I'ma sweep them up before the summer done. This is it. This is a one to one. I'ma be. Before my son is one, I really mean it, nigga. I really see okay. it. Yeah, these niggas broke. Okay. Honestly, this one is the lowest so far as far as volume goes. It does have the 360 sound. You can hear it from both sides, but it's not that loud. So this is going to be perfect for a desktop speaker at work. Now, you know at work you're not going to be blasting music like you got a big blue party or something. This is cool right here. And a little stash spot, man, this just keeps making me smile because I got so many, so many uh, possibilities for this. Father's Day, y'all. Father's Day is right around the corner. This will be something right here to drop on a little desk. All right, now, if you're looking for maximum volume, this ain't it. All right, but 50 bucks has a nice build to it. Looks very space age. And I'm, I am feeling the touch controls. Nice right, so little touch controls on this. That's kind of cool. And you can also use this as a speakerphone. So like I said, this might be the uh, work speaker. Little stash right there. I like that. All right, so that's the AC tech. That's the sound dock. Let's keep it moving. Got two more. Let's see what's up next. All right, so next we'll take a look at, let's break out the DK Knight. All right, this is the big magic box wireless Bluetooth speaker. All right, DK Knight. Now this one is gonna run you $59.99. All right, 60 bucks. Looks like it only comes in black. Good enough for me, though. All right, so let's see. Uh, any specs? Let's see. Built-in stereo speaker with enhanced bass. Superior outdoor wireless playtime. Uh, mobile <laughs> mobile phone hand-free. Hand-free. <laughs> I love it. All right, so let's, uh, <laughs> let's see what it looks like. Not hands free, hand free, yo. You only need one hand at a time. Come on, man. Don't judge. Don't judge. Now, this one does have a little bit of weight to it. Okay. Let's see what you get inside. Okay. Usual suspects. Micro USB charging cable. And a 3.5 millimeter auxiliary cable. DK Knight. Here we go. Okay. Let's see. About the same, about the same weight as the Trend Woo. Now this one does have the big giant buttons on the top. I like that. Easy to see. Got your phone call button. Big plus and minus, volume up and down. You got a big pause button and the reverse and skip tracks button. A big giant power button. All right, so this might be the speaker right here if you want to get your parents a nice little portable Bluetooth speaker. And it just looks pretty much simple. <laughs> simple and straightforward. Anybody can figure this out. Let's see. Does this lift up? Yep. Okay. So now underneath, you got a little reset. Here's your line in for your auxiliary port and your micro USB charging slot. <laughs> yeah, on a side note, yeah, I was in a I was in a business meeting the other day and I had to read something out loud and the words slot came up. And I just said slot and I just bust out laughing and everybody was looking at me like I was crazy. Yeah, I did this to me though. I, I blame y'all for this. All right, so let's see. Do we got any juice on this one? Looks like it might be dead out of the box. All right, holding down the power button. Nothing. Let's try to tap the power button. Nothing. Okay, so no juice on this one. Let's see. Uh, anything else we missed? Might have to plug this in real quick. I do have a cable on deck right here. Let's just slap this. So to make sure we didn't get a dud. All right, it's, it's charging. All right, so let me let this charge up for a minute, and we'll take a look at the last one, and we'll get back to the uh, to the DK Knight. So let's check out the last one real quick while that one charges up. Now, this one I'm curious to see if it's dope. This is another one from Tremwool. All right, this is the Tremwool Beat It X Bass. All right, anything with bass in the title piques my interest. Now, this one is going to run you $69.99. All right, so 70 bucks. Now the last Tremwool one was a go, so let's see if this one is a go too. 
Super heavy though. This is the heaviest one yet. Let's see, you got Bluetooth. Let's see, you got a microphone. You can use this for phone calls. Uh, let's see, 3.5 millimeter auxiliary cable included. Extra base, 4,000 milliamp battery. Okay, cool. Cool, I like all that. All right, so let's uh, check this one out. Now, this is the most expensive one, 70 bucks. This kind of looks like a, a, a Galaxy phone presentation. I like that. Okay, here we go. Now, Tremu, yeah, y'all doing it big with them presentations, though. Now, this is, yeah, this has got a nice weight to it. This is the heaviest one yet. This is, yeah, this is super heavy. Let's see what else you get in the box. Being that we just did one of these, I already know. There we go. All right, let's see. Not gonna get trolled twice with that, that cardboard. Yeah, I tried though. All right, so you get your 3.5 millimeter cable and a micro USB charging cable. And of course, usual books and shit. That's about it. Now this one does look nice. This is probably the best looking one. What's that? Okay. Okay. Probably the best looking one. You can see right through that little hole in the front. <laughs> I like that touch on the top. This is all aluminum too. Aluminum housing. That's why it's so heavy. Let's see on the back. Yeah, on and off. Your USB charging slot. Line in and line out. Okay, so you could probably connect two of these together. On the top, you got your call button. Volume up and down. Play and pause. Nice heavy clicks on those. All right, so let's power this on and see if we got any juice. All these LEDs. Nope, they don't light up. Or do they light up? Okay, you got an LED in the front. It looks like these would light up, but they don't. <laughs> All right, so let's try this real quick. Let me pair it up. And we'll uh, get it popping. All right, so this is the Tremu X Base. Let's see. Now, I might have to do the same. Let's try that again. We'll do... Oh, matter of fact, this is on and off switch, though. This might be old school, hold down, play. Slap it into pairing mode. Let's go. All right, here we go. Trim will beat it. Let's let this pair up. Shout out to Xerxes. Getting ready to attack. Okay. Unable to pair. Let's try that again. The real-time pairings. And that beautiful, awkward silence. All right, so let's turn this off. <laughs> let's turn this off. We'll turn it back on again. And we'll try this one more time. This is live troubleshooting. All right, so you turn your Bluetooth off, turn it back on. Now, with a lot of these speakers, you hold down the play button, and that should put it in manual pairing mode. There it goes. Okay. It says pairing. There it goes. All right, so that was a live troubleshooting right there. Add that to the how-to video list <laughs> if you want. Now let's uh, get back to the music and see how this sounds. Now this is the most expensive one, so it should it should sound the best, but we'll see. Yo, Hallie, my phone on Definitely sounds the loudest. So, so. Let's see, no, no, no alert to let you know when you're on max. Oh, this one sounds loud. Though. Shit that makes you listen. I came oh, through with the coalition and my co defendants and the coldest niggas known the niggas. All right, you gotta play this you one from the front. Niggas, then you know it's with them. If you know them niggas, then you know it's so. If you read the book, you would know it's cold. <laughs> no room for niggas. Just goons for niggas. Got a couple brooms for niggas. I'ma sweep them up. This one got the table, the table shaking a little. This is a one to one. I'ma be. 
my son is one I really mean it, nigga, I really seen it Yeah, these niggas broke, pay them no attention These niggas telling for a lower sentence Illegal weapon, yeah, I know Got it's Got a reckless. big grip on the bottom the beef is never ending, streets unforgiving South, so unforgiving South side, that's just the tip of the iceberg For the right words, get you hit for a white bird I might swerve, I might pull up in light herbs I might curve, I might come for the right price Woo, now <laughs> I gotta say, this one definitely sounds the best out of all the ones I just heard, and this one does have the best build to it. Like I said, I don't know if y'all heard me, but this has a big, big rubber grip on the bottom, so that's gonna keep it in place. But the build on this one, this is a solid build, super duper heavy aluminum. All right, so this one, once you put it in place, it ain't moving around nowhere. All right, so this is a nice little piece right here. This might be the Father's Day gift right here. All right, now, let's see. If you look close, you can see the two speakers inside. This one sounds good, though. The loudest one so far. I come alive got the most, night got night. The most uh, richness to it. All right, most yeah. richness. <laughs> yeah. uh, all right, let's go. This one got the most richness to it. All right, so let's turn this one off. All right, so this is dope now, especially if you could connect two of these together. These will make a nice set of desktop computer speakers. And with this aluminum look that just popped in my head, if you got a MacBook, you know, a nice aluminum style MacBook, and you got one of these on each side, you're gonna get some great sound with these. All right, and definitely build quality on these. If you got one of those minimalist style desks, all white with just a few products on it, something like this goes nice. And that little hole in the front, nice little touch. All right, so that's the Tremble. Now I let this, um, I let the other one, the DK Knight. Okay, this one been charging up for a minute. Let's turn this one on and see if we got any juice. All right, here we go. All right, now, here's the DK Knight. Let's try to pair this one up real quick. Let's see, are we in pairing mode? It's flashing. Let's scan real quick. This one is lightweight, though. Okay. Just popped up. Big magic box. Okay, connect it. Take it back to the tube real quick. And let's try this. Yo, Hallie, my phone on okay, <laughs> loud. So. Okay, that little beep will let you know it's max volume. Oh, oh. oh this one here, this is. Just rap shit. This one sounds cool. Here go the two speakers in the front. Oh, this one sounds good. DK Knight. Let's let it ride. Check it. Check it. Yo. Ah. That makes you listen. I came through with the coalition and my co-defendants and the code. Oh, this one sounds know good. Them niggas. Uh -huh. If you know them niggas, then you know it's with them. If you know oh, them this niggas, one is good. then you know you can it's feel the wind coming out. If you read the book, you would know it's closed. <laughs> no room for niggas. Just goons for niggas. Got a couple brooms for niggas. I'ma sweep them up before the summer done. This is it. This is a one on one. Oh, this is I'ma be. Before my son is one, I really mean it, nigga. I really seen it. Yeah, these niggas broke, pay them no attention. These niggas tell him for a lower sentence. Illegal weapon, yeah, I know it's reckless. Stand it up like this, too. It's never ending streets, unforgiving. Sounds better from the front, though. That's just the tip of the iceberg. For the right words, get you hit for a white bird. I might swerve, I might pull up in light herbs. I might curve, I might come for the right price. I come alive and. All right, that, all right. <laughs> yeah. oh, all right, that's letting you know that the battery is getting ready to die. But, yo, on the shrimp, this really sounds good, though. This one has a nice, loud sound to it. Again, a lot of these speakers, though, even though it has that cylinder-style shape, you got to play them from the front to get the better uh, sound from it. But this one definitely sounds cool, and this is a nice little gift right here. Like I said, for the older people with these big, giant, unmistakable buttons. And you can use this as a speakerphone. Probably stand it up like this. Just have it as a speakerphone on your desk. This is hot. All right, so now let me rate these in order of the way I like them. Let's see. Number one. All right. Now, this one right here, this AC Tech Sound Dot, this had the lowest sound, but um, <laughs> the stash spot. I got I to gotta throw something in the stash. The stash spot right here kind of makes up for that. This little sticky pad. And this is a nice little cool accessory. I'd probably use this more as a speakerphone or if I just want to watch YouTube videos 
and I don't I don't want to really thump music at, at my desk. I want to watch YouTube videos and have a nice sound. This one is dope for that because you got the little built-in stand. All right, so this is cool right here. After that, I go with the core. Now, this one right here is kind of cool because it does have the little carabiner hook. It has this little rugged sleeve to it, a little, you know, nice grippy one. So this might be a bicycle speaker. I don't think it's going to be better than my Fugu, but you're talking about $35 compared to $200. So of course it ain't gonna be better, but this might be a nice little accessory for your bike. I gotta do a separate test. I'm pretty sure you could put this in the water bottle holder in your bike. You can drop this right in the water bottle holder, and then when you're doing your in the middle of the night workouts, have this right on deck. All right, so that's this is the second one. Then after that, the trim wool. Y'all seen the presentation on this. This is a nice one right here. Quality build to this, sounds pretty good. The DK Knight, definitely feeling this one. This is definitely gonna be uh, passed over to one of my older friends, <laughs> my less tech savvy friends. You can't make a mistake with this. You, nobody's gonna say which one is the volume up or the volume down. Just look at it. All right. Oh, and it sounds good, and we did a drop test, and it still works. So this is cool. The best one of this video though, so far, well, so far, actually this is the end of the video, so this is the best one, the Tremble. All right, this one right here, this is the best one of the video, got the best build, the loudest sound, I just can't get over this heavy weight. I'm definitely feeling this. I think I'm gonna get two of these and make a little desktop setup using these. This one is dope though. All right, for 70 bucks, all of these speakers right here, take your choice. None of them gonna run you more than 70, but you start from 35 to 70. Anyway, hit me up in the comments. Let me know which one of these y'all like best, if y'all like any of them. I got a bunch of battery chargers, so we'll do a battery charger rundown. I got some other stuff coming this week. I got some uh, projectors. A lot of people have been asking me to check out the uh, pocket projectors. So I got two of those on deck. We're going to do a battle of the dash cams. Got a few more dash cams. Summertime coming, so you got to get your camera game ready. And also, the highlight of this week will probably be the battle of the Bluetooth speakers, but the heavyweights. Now, shout out to anybody that was watching the Amazon Warrior stream, the second one. I had to take that down because of the copyrights. But if y'all watch that stream, you already know which is the best Bluetooth speaker on the market. But I will do that video again, just so you can see for yourself. But um, let me just, uh, let, matter of fact, since we're here talking, the video's over. Now, since we're here talking, I'm going to let y'all know that there's some of these speakers I'm not going to put in the battle because it doesn't make sense. Right? It doesn't make sense. The Harman Kardon, the Onyx, you know, Harman Kardon Onyx, the Beats Pill Plus, the Pill XL, both of those monster rock and rollers and the mini, the rock and roller two and the mini, the um, the nine bass and the nine rock, the shark beast, all of these speakers, the Iowa, the Exos nine, all of these speakers, I, I will cover this again, but it really doesn't even make sense for me to put them in a the battle because they're gonna lose. All right, there's really only two speakers right now that I would consider to give the crown for the summer as of right now. We got the Braven double X, all right, the double XL, and the Monster Blaster. Those are the two heavy hitters right now. I will, I'll probably do a little sound clip with the other one just so y'all don't, you know, y'all don't think I'm BSing, but trust me, all right, trust me, those two speakers right there, they kill everything else in the market. It's just between those two. So I'll, I'll, I'll do the battle of the uh, Bluetooth speakers probably on Friday and we'll get it popping. Anyway, shout out to everybody that rock with me on Facebook, Foursquare, Twitter, Google Plus, Shout out to all the Google gangsters. I see y'all holding down that Facebook page. Shout out to everybody hitting me up on Voxer. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with me on Instagram. Y'all know that's where I'm at full time, 100% full throttle. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with the Amazon Warrior on Sundays. Y'all already know, stream gangsters on deck. Get your drinks ready. No meat boys allowed. Oh yeah, special shout out to everybody following me on Snapchat. Flossy underscore Carter. That's where we at. And a special shout out to the notification squad. I see y'all in the comment section early. Hashtag salute. Oh yeah, and one more thing. Don't forget to follow Xerxes. A lot of people been asking Xerxes to come out with an IG account. So Xerxes does have her own Instagram page. If y'all wanna follow and see what the cat is doing all day, check her out on deck. Right, Xerxes on deck. Oh yeah, one more thing. I almost forgot. Fellas, ladies, Say it with me, all y'all haters, all y'all trolls, close your eyes, picture me roll. It's your boy Floss, I'm out. Deuces. Turn that gear up.
game real quick. Captain, energize. 